Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today I thought we would do something I've been waiting to do for a little while, and that is tame up a mantis. So, to tame a mantis, the first thing you need to do is prepare to tame a mantis. That's why we started the greenhouse the other day, which is over here and should be producing plenty of veggie tables for us. So let's go take a look. Um, the reason we need the vegetables is so that we can make bug repellent, which requires rock carrot, which we have plenty, and citronol, which we have plenty. So we will use those to make up some, uh, some bug repellent. So we need to do that. Uh, because mantises are passive tame. Now, what mantises eat is something special. It is death worm horns or whatever. Which means we gotta go find a death worm. Um, which I believe I found out here in the desert. And the trick that I saw to find them... Now, I'm hoping this guy is strong enough. He's got just under 10,000 health, 2,500 stamina... 300% melee, and I have a bunch of meat and an auto-clicker ready. The trick that I was told is if you press K and, like, scroll out all the way, you should be able to see them. I'm not seeing anything around here. This is a very small desert, though, right? Because the edge of the world's really close. Um, let's take a look, see what we can see. There's mantises here, no problem. Uh, I hope this works. This is what I was told would work. Because they, they do stay under the ground, and then they aggro and come find you. Oh, yeah, see, right at the edge of the world right now. So we're just going to keep kind of moseying around the desert and see what we can see. And then hopefully we can handle them. I mean, this guy's pretty solid. I mean, he's got some good, what I think are good stats, at least, on him. Um... We're like, I think this is the edge right here, right? So we're really, like, skirting the edge. Nope. Oh, I thought that was one for a second. That's just an Arthropleura. Uh, hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this. And then, uh, well, we'll see what we can find. Let's go find it right now! Oh, wait, is that one right there? Oh, that might be one right there. Okay, where was that? Over here, to the right? All right, we got full health. No, we don't. Okay, uh, heal up. Yeah, I love me some auto clicker. Auto clicker. I should have cooked meat. You know, that would have been the smart thing to do. Um, because raw meat really heals you up pretty slow. But I think we can take it. I think we can handle it. And here we go. All right, up to nine thousand. We're almost there. One hundred. Two hundred. 300, 400, and, all right, full health. All right, where was that sucker? It was over here somewhere, right? Oh, there it is. Oh, is that it coming? Is it mad? Okay, here we go. Oh, where should I do head-to-head -head fight? And we do a ton of damage. Only does 225 damage to us, and he's not hurting me directly, right? We're doing way more. I'm glad I pumped health on this guy, though. Because that actually is quite a bit. It means every four hits, he's doing a thousand to us. What level is this thing? Can we even see? Oh, but it's already bloody. <laughs> Man, this guy's got a lot of health. <laughs> um, I'm starting to get a little nervous. I mean, yeah, we're, we still have three quarters of our health, but oh, where are you going? Do they run? Oh, just moving? Just getting closer? Oh, he's bloody. So I don't know how many of these horns we need. Look at that. Pfft, no problem. Ooh, we got a level off of it. That was not bad at all. Let's boost a little more into health. I really want to get health to ten. Oh, there it is. Instead, we got a lot of freaking levels off of that. Like, six levels. We're almost max leveled on this guy now. I think every other level now is going to go into melee. So we got one horn. I don't know how many we need. I should probably look it up in the taming calculator. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and heal this guy up. 
And then I'm going to go find some uh, another death worm, look at the calculator, and just kind of see what we need to know for this. That was not too bad, but it did take us down to half health. Um, so it's not definitely not easy either. All right. I will uh, go check everything out and just check out and bring you guys back in just a minute. All right. I think we went ahead and found another death worm. <clears throat> so I did look, did look it up. And we need three to tame a level 120. Now, we already have one at the base, because uh, I did actually kill one of these things with someone a few days back. Um, not on this guy. I didn't have this guy yet. It was a lower level wyvern. Um, so I have one, and I just got one, so that's two. So this should be enough. But I'd like to get one more just to be safe. Especially considering we can definitely do this. The hardest part really is finding them. This guy took only about ten minutes to find after the last one. Man, I wish I could... I was at level one. Uh, I didn't notice what the level of the other guy was. I tried to look and couldn't see. Um, but this is really not too bad at all. Here we go. One more. And you also get leech blood and then uh, black pearls. Alright, so again, I'm going to go ahead and heal this guy up. And uh, then I'll bring you guys back after I go find one more. Oh wait, what kind of levels did we get? Four, five, six. Six levels out of that. That was amazing. I think six more levels and we'll be max leveled. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, look for one more. And I'll see you guys in a minute. <clears throat> All right, new death worm coming up. And here we go. What level is this one? Uh, see, we can't see the level and I don't really want to stop to figure it out. <clears throat> see if we can get closer. Oh, level one. So maybe they're all level one. Huh, kind of scary to think that there might be something higher. Level one is this tough. <laughs> All right, we're definitely doing more damage. What were we doing before? Seventy something. Now we're doing eighty-three per tick, and we do like a gazillion ticks at one time, which is absolutely awesome. Um. Oh, it's great because I was so worried about killing these guys. Now to find out because I just got this wyvern and that it's actually doable and not too tough. I mean, if there were two of them coming after me at once. And I know there's alphas as well, and those are terrifying, probably. And let's get our... <gasps> we didn't get a horn. Oh, wait, there's a bag. There's a bag. Okay, there's the horn. Ooh. Oh, I got a little nervous there. Okay, so we should have everything we need now. Um, tame a mantis. So let's go ahead and... Uh, wait, I've heard there sometimes the deep sea loot crates are in these little oasises. I've been looking, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh, let's level up. Yes, the best part. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're max leveled. We max leveled him. <laughs> yes, this is a super wyvern. So I didn't bring any water and I'm almost dehydrated. So I got to go ahead and get back to base and uh, get all the stuff put together. And I'll bring you guys back. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, we are back at base. And we have, are getting up the stuff to make uh, some bug repellent. So we've already got, uh, so let's see, citronel, rock carrot, pelt, and uh, narcotics is what we need. And we should have all of those in our inventory right now. Sure do. And it is made in the mortar and pestle. Which we just happen to have set up ready. All right, and we really don't probably only need one, but uh, we're going to make them all, of course. Wait, we can make 37 of them? Okay, we don't need 37 of them. How about one, two, three, four? <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little bit excessive. Four is probably more than enough. <clears throat> Realistically, probably one is more than enough. All right. Two. And we'll throw this stuff. I'll just make three of them. Three. Okay. And throw a couple extras. So I know some other people in the tribe are wanting to get mantises too. So we'll kind of pre-make them. Throw them in there. Oh, it's only the last 14 hours? That's not that much. We really need to get uh, some... What you call it going on? Some uh, fridge going on at some point. So electricity is such a pain on this map. Alright, now we gotta go ahead and find ourselves a mantis. 
Um, I don't think we need anything else. Oh wait, I forgot to get a drink of water. And I am almost dehydrated and berries don't really do anything. Let's go ahead and take a stop and get a drink of water from our well. And then I'm going to go ahead and start looking for a mantis because uh, it is kind of a lot to actually tame these guys up. You know, you gotta go kill death worms and everything. We do want to get a good level one. It doesn't need to be a 120, but, you know, 100 plus. I mean, give me give me triple digits, you know what I mean? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and see what we can find. I'm gonna go look around, and then I'll bring you guys back. Alright, guys. We have found our mantis. 104. Not perfect, but pretty dang good. There was a 96 we almost settled for and then decided against it. But now we're in the middle of a sandstorm. So I'm going to go ahead and wait out the storm and then uh, we'll tame this guy when we get back. All right. Hopefully the storm will end soon and I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, the storm is past. And is that a dung beetle? Get out of here. We don't need you bothering us. <clears throat> Ooh, don't aggro the thing! Holy crap, Dung Beetle, how much health do you have? Oh, we aggroed the thing! Alright, let's kinda come up here. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use our bug repellent. So we should be good for 10 minutes. Okay, let's land. Let's eh, walk our guy off the side a little. Nothing, ooh, there's an Arthropura over there. Alright, let's see how hard this is. Uh, oh, we have a lot of heat stroke. Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. You're nice, right? You're a nice little praying mantis. Ooh, ooh, that did almost half. So yeah, two, maybe three. Okay, now we're gonna back up, back up, back up. And we are gonna wait right here. Oh, just sit there, okay. We're gonna go ahead and wait till he's hungry again and then keep going. All right, guys, it is time for the second feeding. I think we're going to need three. Oh, just barely. Okay. One more feeding, and then we should be done. Oh, he looks so cool, doesn't he? Oh, it's all black. Oh, I love it. Okay, awesome. Don't want to get too far from my dragon. There is dangerous stuff abound. Ah. <sighs> All right, guys, so our guy got hit by a vulture, and I think that resets all the taming. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it does. So we have to start this thing all over again, and I am one death horn short. So I know where this guy is. I know where this little base is. I'm going to go get the, like, get the lightning dragon Kill a couple friggin' wiver or uh, death worms. Get some more horns, and then uh, feed them a couple times and come back. Uh, maybe I'll get a few levels on my fire guy while I'm out there just for funsies. <laughs> and ah, uh, oh, such a bummer. Might have to get a new bug repellent too. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, I think this is it. This should be the last feeding, and then we should be good to go. Whew. If I can get behind him and he doesn't aggro and something stupid and have to start all over again. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, I got him! Ooh, that dude's gonna aggro for a second there. Oh, awesome. Okay. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> hey, buddy! Oh, man. Can we just get, like, a freaking badass screenshot right here? Yeah. Awesome. So, I did not bring a saddle because I'm super smart. Okay, let's go ahead and look at his stats. 1,700 health, 390 stamina, seems awfully low. 365 weight, it's just fine, and 187 melee damage. I do have a saddle back at the house that I got out of the drop. I think it was a ramshackle or something. So, I'm hoping I can carry these guys. I can. Alright, awesome. So let's go ahead and take him home. Where are we? That's Red Obelisk. So we're this way. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get him home, get him saddled up, and then we're gonna play with him just a bit. And I will see you guys in a minute. 
All right, guys, so we have a saddle ready. It is a ramshackle saddle. And from what I understand, whoo, can they, can they jump? No. Okay, so we got the attack. Oh, right, I, oh yeah, so I put a training dummy down. So let's see, we got attack. Oh, we can just kind of hold it. Okay, that's uh, left click, how about right click? Oh, what was that? Oh, jump, ooh, don't fall off the edge, okay. What about C? Nothing? Okay. So, from what I understand, we should be able to equip things to this guy. So I brought all sorts of stuff. Let's start with the stuff that's probably not gonna work first. Crossbow? Okay, I didn't think so. Throw it in his inventory. Bin <laughs> binocular? Oh! Binoculars, yes. Or, uh, so this is proof by glass. That looks ridiculous. All right, let's use it. Does it do any damage? 27! <laughs> so it's considerably less damage. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous looking. Oh, I can't, oh, he spins around like a scorpion. I can't like get in front of him. Okay. <laughs> Same thing with the omnicular, I assume. <laughs> yep, it works. Does it do more damage though? No, same amount, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, spear. No, no, spear doesn't work. Okay. Torch? Torch does work. Ooh, and it lights. Oh, that's pretty cool. Damage? 32. More than the spyglass. <laughs> oh, that'd actually be really cool for, like, going in dark caves and stuff, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, whip. Hey, it's got a whip? More like a spike? That's weird. I don't see whips normally working like that. But let's see. Whip does 22. Whip does less than the binoculars. Or than the uh, spyglass. Uh, pike, how about that? Oh, pike looks cool. Oh, yeah. 55. Really not doing a whole lot of damage with these weapons. I don't know if that's just the weapon damage that's showing, or if that is all of it. I really hope that's not all the damage, because that would be really low compared to what you can do without. Okay, wooden club I heard you can use to knock things out, actually. So it only does 25 per, but um, theoretically you can knock things out. We don't want to try that out. Alright, club. Pick. Yes, pick works. And, oh, can we actually harvest with it? Oh, sure can. Ooh, actually harvest quite a bit. Okay, I don't want to use get that rock because I want to test out the hatchet. And the hatchet. Oh, yeah. Not as good as a doed, obviously. But not bad either. Okay, so I want to test out the club theory. Let's go take this guy out for a spin. Whatever the first thing is, we're gonna try and knock it out using just the club and the mantis. What do we got out here? Okay, that... Oh, that rock looks an awfully, awful lot like a uh, golem, doesn't it? Let's stay away from that sucker. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we can find. Uh, 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 lagging. Man, I don't know... Lockups and frame rate issues and everything and uh, mainly just in scorched scorched earth all right i'm not seeing anything in my general vicinity oh wait there's a doe right there i think we can knock out a doe what level is it eight let's try it ah it's gonna roll up i should have expected that how's the uh i don't want to waste our club on that i don't have to go make another one uh is that a terror bird over there or is that a percoptodon Oh, perfect. A terror bird. That's what we need. Hey, bud. Yeah, come over here. How you feeling? So good? How's it feel for me to beat you in the face? Oh, he's running. Right into the corner. 
No, this is a terrible time to lock up. Oh, it worked. We knocked him out. Ugh, bugs. Get out of here. Interesting. Oh, here's a good test. Let's look at him. Oh, can we get in there? Do, 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 do. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was a terrible idea. Let's back up. Now let's get in there. Okay. No, we're just gonna be stuck. Back up more, back up more, back up more. Okay, this is gonna be awful because the place he's in. Get out of there! <sighs> All right, what I wanna test is to see how much damage the clubs really do. So, let's help that right now. 158.6. Let's go hit him with a club and hope he doesn't die. Okay, it says it did 38. Back it up. Is it turned to nighttime? Oh, it sure is. So it said it did 38. And I think it was at 156, so it means we only have done 36. Okay. Now let's try it without anything equipped and see how it holds up. So he's at 120 now. It says that it's 63. So it definitely did more without it equipped. I mean, granted, the club is just a... Uh... Okay, die, 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 die. Okay. The club is not meant for damage, but I still think it would increase, because it should still do the base damage of their ability, right? I don't know. Anyways, oh, this guy is amazing. What? Why is this thing running away? You're a wolf. Man up, dude. Oh, should we do the lunge? Oh, the lunge is the way to go. Whoa. Psh, come on. I'll lunge at you all day. <laughs> Beautiful. Whoa, where'd the wolf go? Did I already kill it? Not realize it? Alright. Anyways, the mantis is pretty cool. Oh, it's getting dark. Whatever are we gonna do? Double torches. Ah! <laughs> I've got to say, I really think the mantis is cool. I really don't know what we'll use him for. Oh, oh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Oh, there you are. You thought you could hide? Now I have to beat you to death with torches. How does that feel? Not very good, I bet. Oh, did our torches die? Our torches died. Worth it. Totally worth it. Anyways, guys, I do think that's going to be it. I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with us today. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, do me a favor and feel free to subscribe, of course. And if you like it, thumbs me up. Um, also, feel free to check me out on Twitter, uh, which is Obadiah underscore X, or Instagram at Obadiah X, or Google Plus even at Obadiah X, or Facebook, same thing, the whole deal. Um, I don't do a ton with those, but I'm starting to do more. And you guys should definitely come hang out with me. But anyways, I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out, and I will see you again next time.